Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 50 years on television. Sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hello, everyone. I'm Mary Lou Metzger, and welcome to the Lawrence Welk Show. This one is called Los Angeles and was taped in 1972. Clay Hart salutes Gene Autry with Back in the Saddle Again. Norma Zimmer beautifully sings When You Wish Upon a Star. And Sandy and Sally are leaving on a jet plane. And speaking of Sandy, I'll visit with her at the end of this program, and you'll learn how she joined the Lawrence Welk Show. So stay with us. But right now, let's cue the trumpets. From Hollywood, the Lawrence Welk Network presents The Lawrence Welk Show with a musical tour of Los Angeles. Sing and everything A sun kiss, miss, and don't be late That's why I can hardly wait Open up that golden gate California, here I come California, here I come Right back where I started from Where flowers, of flowers bloom in the spring Each morning at dawning birdies sing and everything A sun People feel this way because California now has the largest population of any state in the nation, and over seven million of these people make their homes right here in the greater Los Angeles area. Our show this evening is all about this great city. One of the most famous amusement parks in the world is the wonderful Disneyland. Our lovely champagne lady, Norma Simmer, salutes the man who built it with a pretty song for one of the great Disney movies. Thank you. 
Beautiful Nama. And Walt Disney had such a wholesome influence on this community and the world. Sam Yardy, the mayor of our city, besides being a world traveler, is also a music lover and a pretty fair banjo player. We just happen to know his favorite song, and we'd like to play it for you folks and for the mayor, Sam's song. played in champagne style. Hey, Guy, you know, I didn't know Ms. Mayor Yorty played the banjo. <laughs> no, I didn't either. I wonder when he has time to practice. I, probably on uh, all those long plane trips he takes. You know. well, we better get off this subject. They're going <laughs> to ship you back to Tupelo, Mississippi. No, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Anyhow, Mayor Sam knows we're just kidding. Right. Let's sing our song. And just to make things right with him, we'll dedicate our song to him tonight. Places with strange sounding names far away over the sea. Those far away places with a strange sounding names are calling, calling. Just 
of us are all familiar with the famous Hollywood Bowl and the wonderful symphony concerts played there. I think all music lovers will enjoy this melody from a symphony by Tchaikovsky. Pleasant. Thank you so much, Charlotte and Bob. Our band still plays at the world famous Hollywood Palladium on Saturday nights, about six months of the year. And we're happy to say it's still one of this city's top tourist attractions. Ballroom dancing may have slipped in popularity in the past few years, but here are two young people who help keep it alive. America's number one young dance couple, Bobby and Sissy.
What talent, what energy. Oh, they are so great. Um, the Los Angeles International Airport is one of the busiest in the world. Pretty airline hostesses like these two young ladies may have something to do with the popularity of jet travel. Let's meet Sandy and Sally. All my bags are packed and I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking and it's early morn. The taxi's waiting, he's blowing his horn. Already I'm so lonesome, I could die. salute to one of the leading citizens of Los Angeles and one of the first and greatest of the Western movie stars. Here's Clay with the theme song of Gene Autry. I'm back in the saddle again Out where a friend is a friend Where the longhorn cattle feed on Lowly Jimson weed I'm back in the saddle again Riding the rain once more Toting my old 44 Where you sleep out every night Where the only law is right I'm back in the saddle again Buddy Merrill on the steel guitar. Pick it, bud. steel guitar and piano by Buddy Merrill and Bob Smale. Next, we have a typical group of tourists visiting one of Hollywood's famous landmarks. 
Let's join Arthur Duncan and the crowd at Grauman's Chinese Theater. <laughs> difficult to get Arthur's footprints in cement. Uh, you see his feet don't stay still long enough. <laughs> the ocean near Los Angeles is famous for its great fishing. And with fishing, there's bound to be a few uh, fish stories. Here's one told by Dick Dale. Got a whale of a tail to tell you, lads, a whale of a tail or two. About the flapping fish and the girls I've loved On a night like this with the moon above A whale of a tail and it's all true I swear by my tattoo There was Mermaid Minnie Met her down in Madagascar She would kiss me Any time that I would ask her Then one evening her flame of love blew up Well, blow me down and pick me up She swapped me for a truck Got a whale of a tail to tell you that Whale of a tail or two About the flapping fish and the girls I've loved On a night like this with the moon above A whale of a tail and it's all true I swear by my tattoo There was Typhoon Tessie Met her on the coast of Java When we kissed I Bubbled up like molten lava Then she gave me the scare of my young life Well, blow me down and pick me up She was the captain's wife There was Harpoon Hannah Had a look that spelled out danger My heart quivered When she said hello there stranger Bought her trinkets No sailor could afford And when I'd spent my last red cent She sent me overboard Got a whale of a tail to tell you lad Whale of a tail or two Bought flapping fish and the girls I've loved On a night like this with the moon above A whale of a tail and it's all true I swear by my tattoo It's great to see Dick Dale having so much fun on the show. Stay with us for Tanya singing Rainy Days and Mondays, and Candilo performs the popular Mona Lisa. 
And at the end of our program, stay with us for a wonderful visit with the talented Welk star, Sandy Griffiths. Now, let's get back to Los Angeles. There is something for everyone in the city of Los Angeles, including a beautiful new art museum. Of course, we don't have the original Mona Lisa, but we do have a beautiful song by this name. And here's Candela to sing it for you all. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. You're so like the lady with the mystic smile. Is it only cause you're lonely they have blamed you For that Mona Lisa strangeness in your smile Do you smile to tempt a lover, Mona Lisa? Or is this your way to hide a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep they just lie there, and they die there. Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold and lonely, lovely work of art? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. They just lie there, and they die there. Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold and lonely, lovely work of art? Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. Thank you very much. You know, everything isn't sunshine in our fair city. We also have some rainy days and Mondays, which is the subject of this song by Tanya. Talking to myself and feeling old Sometimes I'd like to quit Nothing ever seems to fit Hanging around, nothing to do but frown. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. What I've got they used to call the blues. Nothing is really wrong, feeling like I don't belong. Walking around. Some kind of lonely clown Rainy days and Mondays always get me down Funny, but it seems I always wind up here with you Nice to know somebody loves me Funny, but it seems that it's the only thing to do Run and find the one who loves me, loves me. What I feel has come and gone before. No need to talk it out. We know what it's all about. Hanging around, nothing to do but frown. Rainy days and Mondays down hanging around nothing to do but frown rainy days and mondays always get me down get me daughter. And that's one of the songs from our new album, Go Away, Little Girl. Visitors to Los Angeles and Hollywood always hope to see movie stars. Well, 
This is still possible if you know where to look. Would you believe the Hollywood Wax Museum? Be yourself, be yourself, everyone will like you if you be yourself. See yourself, see yourself, as other people see you and you'll be yourself. Now don't pretend that you're what you're not, you're terrific with what you've got, so be yourself, be yourself, and the whole wide world is yours. Be yourself, be yourself. Everyone will like you if you be yourself. See yourself, see yourself. As other people see you, and you'll be yourself. Don't pretend that you're what you're not. You're terrific with what you've got. Be yourself, be yourself, and the whole Folks, those characters were some of our own musical family. I wonder how many of them you recognized. They sure fooled me. Go away, little girl. Go away, little girl. I'm not supposed to be alone. That your lips are sweet, but our lips must never meet. I belong to someone else, and I must be true. So go away, little girl. Go away, little girl. It's hurting me more each minute. That you delay when you are near me like this. You're much too hard to resist. So go away, little girl, before I beg you to stay. Hurting me more each minute that you delay. So please go away, little girl. Let's call it a day, little girl. Go away, little girl, before I beg you to stay. You know, in Los Angeles, with its uh, large Spanish-speaking population, all the Mexican holidays are ce celebrated with fiestas and singing, dancing to mariachi bands, and the whole works. Uh, for a sample, we're going to take you back to Olivero Street for a Mexican favorite featuring uh, Senor Myron Florin and his lively Latin group, the song Jalisco.
<laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, Hollywood is famous as the film capital of the world. And uh, actually, they've made many, many wonderful motion pictures that help bear out this, this uh, title. And we'd like to feature one of them for you right now, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Feeney, our chorus and band, Climb Every Mountain from the Sound of Music. cute and talented young lady, Mary Lou Metzger, recalling memories of another cute and talented youngster from the movies. I'm sure you'll remember her. On the good ship, lollipop, it's a sweet trip to a candy shop where bonbons play. On the sun, Lemonade stands everywhere, Cracker Jack bounds, spill the air, and there you are, happy landing on the chocolate bar. See the sugar bowl, do a tootsie roll with the big bad devil's food cake. If you eat too much, oh, oh, you'll awake with a tummy ache on the good ship. I trip into bed, you hop and dream away on the good ship lollipop. This girl has come a long way in the past year. This famous restaurant is a good place to see movie and television personalities. Let's all join Arma and Jim as they enjoy Tea for Two. Meet 
for you and you for me alone. Nobody near us to see us or hear us, no friends or relations on weekend vacations. We won't have it known, dear, that we own a telephone. For me to take for all the boys to see. We will raise a family, a boy for you, a girl for me. Can't you see how happy we would be? and Jimmy Roberts. Los Angeles, like many of our big cities, has a problem with air pollution. So blue skies are not as common as they used to be. But we can still enjoy the song by this title with Bob Havens and our singers. I hope you've had fun on our musical tour of Los Angeles. Our special guest is the gorgeous redhead from the singing duo of Sandy and Sally. Won't you please welcome Sandy Griffiths. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Mary Lou. So good to have you here. It's so fun to be here with you. <laughs> well, did this show bring back some memories for you? Oh, it did. It <laughs> did. Uh, those short skirts, only you won the prize on the short skirts. <laughs> I thought you were adorable as Charlie Chaplin. Oh. 
happen. That was you were the most beautiful Charlie Chaplin ever. <laughs> I thank you. Yes, <laughs> and and the the outfit for um, the Shirley Temple number it was so cute, but it was short. <laughs> but we were all kind of short then with the skirts. Did you grow up in a musical family? I did. Uh, my father especially. My mother had a beautiful voice, but she was way too shy to sing by herself. But uh, my uncles, whenever our family would gather, and my grandmother, Emily, she had a beautiful voice and had sung her whole life. And my uncles would get together and harmonize, and they would sing something like... Uh, cool water and I'd be the little at the age of two I'd be the little echo <laughs> water water <laughs> so I loved it did you want to be a singer when you grew up I did I did I sang to records as a little girl I'd come home from school and sing to records and and I loved I loved music I loved it I understand Art Linkletter asked you that once <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. I was about six years old and was invited to be on his uh, Pillsbury house party. And it was a... The radio show? The radio show. It was a treasured memory, yes. <laughs> and what did, what did you do? I sang. I <laughs> sang. <laughs> I told him I wanted to be a singer. So it was fun. Now, you and Sally got together at BYU. Yes, we had a wonderful woman, Janie Thompson, who, who had a program bureau where she invited students to sing or dance or do whatever they could do talent-wise. And so she put us together, and we traveled for the Defense Department throughout the Orient with her for three months. And then later, we were invited to sing for the GIs in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. What was and that like? It was, um, it was life-changing because you really learn to appreciate America and the liberties we have here. Our country isn't perfect, but it, it was such a lesson in appreciation of the blessings we have here in our country and of the sacrifices that people will make for the things that they believe in. It was an amazing You saw a experience. difficult side of the war over there. I did. I saw a very difficult side. And we sang in hospitals. We sang in makeshift hospitals. We flew in helicopters with machine guns out the window. And, and it was exciting. We had people driving ahead of us for landmines and traveled in trucks with the uh, GIs with us and uh, went up to the demilitarized zone. We were probably the last entertainment group in the demilitarized zone. And the general who debriefed us was amazed he w that we had been there. But uh, we found it very uh, wonderful to be able to bring something light and cheerful as music to these GIs. Gives you such an appreciation for our soldiers, too. It sure does. It sure does. And, and for our country. Now, you also worked at Disneyland. <laughs> we did. We spent a summer singing in the Golden Horseshoe. And uh, it was a great memory. Walt Disney was still alive then. And yes, we, we had a lot of different experiences together, Sally and I. So uh, you also were in Vegas. With Jack Jones. We backed Jack Jones. It was a I whirlwind. I always loved him. He, oh, beautiful voice, a beautiful man. After we had done this show for the Defense Department, we took it to Las Vegas. And that's how we heard about the auditions for Lawrence Welk, the auditions for Jack Jones. and. And we got both jobs. We were very blessed. How long were you with him? Oh, just a few engagements. The Sands Hotel and Harris at Lake Tahoe with him. And we backed him. So a he good was, guy. Yes, he was a good guy. <laughs> now, you married a fellow you met in college. I did. Freshman English at Brigham <laughs> Young University. My sweetheart, Brent. We met in freshman English. We dated for about six months. And then he went on a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for two and a half years to the Samoan Islands. And then when he came back, he didn't even know I could even sing. I started really singing on campus after that first freshman year. He came back and then we left for Vietnam and then I was on the Lawrence Welk Show and, and I, I realized there was still something missing even though this great dream had come true. And it was Brent, Brent was what was missing and so we were married in January in 1969 on his birthday. He never forgets our anniversary because <laughs> we got married on his birthday. And so we've been married, what, 37 years. We have eight children and 11 grandchildren with a few on the way. So we're just Oh, Grandma, you're looking so good. 
<laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun. Well, I loved singing with you. Oh, when I loved singing with you. Wasn't that a fun it trio? It was. What was your decision? What made your decision to leave the show? Well, as you know, I wasn't married when I first started. And as our family started to increase, we just really wanted to put family first. And so we just kind of told the Lord to let us know when singing was more of a burden than a blessing, when it worked against the family instead of for the family. And so there came a time when I had my fourth child and wasn't Lawrence so tolerant. <laughs> I'm sure I hold the record for how many pregnancies on camera, you know. Uh, we stood behind a lot of things about <laughs> so high. <at> Stuffed <laughs> animals, pianos, whatever. Dutch doors, yeah. podiums. <laughs> That's right. So he was really sweet about that. <laughs> but I, I'm so grateful for Mr. Welk and giving me this great privilege of realizing this dream that I had that I love just to sing so much and to have this beautiful band. Well, we you were went blessed, back, weren't we? You went back and completed your college degree. Too. I did. I went back and finished up because I was a college dropout to go to Vietnam. You could not be in college and have that responsibility. So I did. I went back in the last uh, 10 years and finished off my bachelor's degree in psychology and English. It was wonderful to just finish it, you know. And you're still studying. I am. I'm studying herbology because there's so many wonderful herbs that the Lord put on the earth that help us in so many ways. So I'm working on my master's in herbology and I'm loving family history, genealogy. We just came back from Ireland where we visited the home place of a lot of my ancestors who lived in a place called Hollywood, would you believe? <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood, Ireland, it's right outside Belfast. And we walked the cemeteries. We just had a ball and looked at, in records, public records for our ancestors. And it's, it's lovely. It's, I love to learn. I love to keep learning. So, What was the greatest lesson you learned from Lawrence? Well, I would have to say his determination has blessed me. I've picked up on that. If you remember when ABC let him go after 16 years, I remember doing that show and he was so gracious. He was so, he thanked that. them so graciously. And then he, without missing a beat, he said, and folks, tune in next week because <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> and he was. He had a backup plan always and he just he was a determined man, and look at the good that he did. His music still blesses us. After he has gone home, his music is still blessing us. Oh, Sandy, I'm so glad to have had this time with you. I, Thanks I, for being I here. I love you, Mary Lou. I love you, too. <laughs> and we all love you, and thank you so much for supporting us on the Lawrence Welk Show. So until next time, as Lawrence always said, keep a song in your heart. CD.